Next to a ballot, a petition is one of the best ways people can share their concerns and impact change. But when the people of Muhammad wanted more of a say on how much they pay for water, they had to go to court to force their petition. WCI3's Cole Hankey is with us. So Cole, this public board sat on that petition for months. That's right. The Sangamon Valley Public Water District sets the cost of water in Muhammad, and the board is appointed by Champaign County. More than 200 people wanted to change that but the board got in the way. The Muhammad community wanted one question on their next ballot. Should members of the Sangamon Valley Public Water District, the board responsible for setting the cost of water in town, be elected? So they started sharing a petition and more than 200 people signed it. That's twice as many as they needed. And once we filed the petition, the duties under the statute is for the board then to certify it with the county clerk. And that's what we've been trying to do. The board chairman, Megan Hennessy, sat on the petition for more than a month. Hennessy did not respond to several requests for comment on Thursday. By withholding the petition, she was essentially silencing petitioners' voices. It wasn't filed. It would take away the rights uh, given to the electors of that district by statute. It would deprive them of their constitutional right to have this considered. And It took legal action to move this process along. The petitioner's lawyer contacted Hennessy for the first time on April 7th. On Thursday, April 14th, Hennessy replied to the attorneys, saying, quote, the district plans to turn in the petitions on Monday. But that didn't happen. Thursday was the last day to turn in the petition to get on the June 28th ballot. As a last-ditch effort, the petitioner sued, and Hennessy was ordered to appear in court. It's really an order of mandamus. It is a very unusual remedy, and it's based upon the uh, a statute or something that says this is not discretionary it's a mandatory obligation that a public official has a couple of hours before that hearing hennessy officially filed the petition with the county clerk now if muhammad voters decide they want the board to be elected every trustee position would then be on the next ballot the board was founded in the 60s and trustees have been appointed ever since jennifer all right interesting cole thank you